Hi there, everybody. Not Sporbat here. Welcome to, hopefully, my desktop. And uh, we shall see how this goes. So I just started up the farming game. Of course, it's going to boot me out of the editor here. Um, but this is... Oh, it hasn't. Okay, cool. Here, let's just do this first. Hold on a sec. Yes, I have lots of stuff. I think I'm going to delete this. But this is the only mod I have in my game right now. Like, that I actually bought. So, anyhow, we're going to start that up. And we'll go back in here. Alright, so this is Giant's Editor. Uh, 9.03 version. The 64-bit version. And we have my Hubbard map open in here. This is the one I've been building. And I just have it zoomed out here just to look at it. But, uh, uh, so this is where I was going to start here and show you too. Now, I did spend a copious amounts of time, kind of, I don't know if it wasn't that long, but it was in all in all about six hours to get this done. More than that? Ah, yeah, six hours. So, this is our roads and traffic system here. And every little green line you see is somewhere somebody can drive. And because you know how the AI work in here and stuff, right? Uh, just to show you what I had to deal with, which was not fun. <laughs> it's over here. Um, so this nice spline and this nice spline, each one's separate, by the way. We'll just uh, we'll get rid of this because I'm not using that anymore. We have a visibility toggle so you can see it. Or not. And that includes in-game as well. It'll make it invisible in in-game. But anyhow, so these are our splines here. We'll make them so we can see them. Each one of them is separate. Every little blue piece here between the, the yeah, well, the, you'll see here. So this is our traffic system, and I think this one's like 10 or something. Yeah, see there. So there's an S and E over there and you have to have uh, it, it works like this because uh, the car's got to and your helpers and AI and all that have to be able to go every single direction right they have to be able to come down this road heading this way and go this way or that way so that's why you see one here and one here and you also see there is one in the in the middle like if we were to find this intersection here uh, what are we on D there it is, C. So this is from right about here to here is one straight piece, and then a curved piece, another curved piece, two more curved pieces, and over here is a straight one as well. And you can see on the side here, this is just basically every single thing that's in here that you place has some sort of name, or it's a spline, which this wiggly line is up here, and so on. And we're actually going to pull up this other window here. There we go. So now the way this works is you have to place everything yourself and on the ground as well. It is not fun. Uh, I used a lot of duplicating buttons <laughs> quite a bit and the interactive placement. And, but it did work for the, um, oh, what would you call that? Uh this intersection here because what I did was it originally was like this on a where your little gizmo thing is down here under the map actually at the origin which is right here zero 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 on your translations zero 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 and the intersection is actually up here this is none of the first one I did and then I said the heck with that noise because that was next to impossible moving it over there as I said <laughs> Where's our next one here? I gotta find it. Oh, right here. I decided to take the time, and it took some time. You could do it, but it's not easy to, to do in here. But you can move this little gizmo thingy close, right close to where you're working with, which was nice. I kind of put it in the center I got as best I could. And you actually have to do it where you move your, your thing you're working on. you got to move down to... <laughs> down here to zero 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 and then reset the transformation or freeze transformations on it that would be this button 
and then whatever you select here and if you were to hit apply the origin or the sorry the gizmo because that's what they call this weird looking thing with the arrows and circles this is a gizmo that actually goes to zero 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 when you uh freeze transformations uh translation transformations when you freeze that part of it Uh, like this if you were to have this clicked then is that how it works yeah i think so <laughs> i can't remember now it's i've only used it a few times so but it, it did come in handy after a while but anyhow so that's how that this all works and each spline like you you're going to have, each one has a junction, each each area, just like intersections, just like normal. There's a couple I haven't finished yet here. Like right here, for instance, I haven't done this intersection yet. And over here, this is just a one, one road, goes in, turns around, comes back out. And same over here, in and back out again. But anywhere else, the traffic can go anywhere. Like there's a T intersection here down here, over here, and over here. There's like four of them over there. Basically anywhere you see the joints, and you can see the T's here, like this, and here, and here, and basically every road got one. Um, the only one I never finished properly was this spline here that goes from the hub, and it goes this way, and down the hill, and this way. I actually should have did it differently, but I didn't. And it just goes over here, and down here, and then down the highway, of course. And we opened our farming simulator game there, so we're gonna we're gonna go in there in a minute, and hopefully this works for us. Now you can see this little weird looking spline right here, that's which is actually two of them, by the way. And I'll show you what that is. And it took me a minute to figure out what it was for, because all I do to figure stuff out is I, I try sometimes to go to YouTube, but or Google, you know, or something like that. But nah. You're better off just figure it out yourself. <laughs> but some things I have to though. Like don't get me wrong, I don't I can't figure everything out when it comes down to like scripting, you know, or and stuff, because I mean like you look through here. That's a lot of stuff. And that's not even what's in there. Like if you want to edit scripts, you can do that in here. Yeah, edit your scripts. It won't let you save them, but you can edit them. If you go actually into your uh editor menu, some of the scripts you can you can edit or like in the file manager here if you were to find your scripts and stuff in there sometimes you can copy it and edit it but sometimes they're also uh what would you call that uh encrypted so to say so anyways here we are in our save game now i have went ahead and uh i reloaded it again of course as always and i actually spent a lot of money in this one uh i haven't cheated nothing no uh, money mod, no nothing. The only mod I have, like I say, besides everything base game here, um, is this plow right here. Just because I don't like doing this with a three meter plow. <laughs> and that's basically about the only mod I really like having for equipment. I've got some other ones, like, don't get me wrong, I've, I've got one of these bad boys, you know. And then I got some tractors, of course. You're gonna have, you gotta have some mods, you know, like this one's pretty cool, I like the old square nose vent, that thing's nice, that was, that was the one I learned to drive on, and then uh, these ones are pretty good too, I don't really get these ones, I just go for the, over here, I just pick the 1000 series, or the 900, I try to be in game as much as possible, um, where is that nice tractor, here, this is actually a really nice tractor, um, I, uh, now that I've been using it quite a bit, this John Deere here. I really like it. So we spent some money in our save game here. We have all our first equipment, but we did. I'll just run you by here quick. We uh, customized this for $2,500 to put the extensions on the wagon. Uh, we haven't touched this. Didn't touch cultivator this time. Uh, we bought a mower here. The Pottinger front mower and back mower with the merger included. Then we also bought a Roland 455 claws round baler with included wrapper. And we bought that for a reason, so we go mow first. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna work up the this grass right here without mowing it and baling it first. 
and wrapping it. So they're on the bale trailer here, and they're currently 3% fermented. So we got to wait for them to ferment, and then once that's done, we will sell them. And then, of course, we just have all our other stuff here. And our combine headers over there, both of them, and the combines in the shed. And we have, yeah, one bin with some oats in over there. And we did, oh, we did spend um, uh, 10,000 liters of fertilizer and 10,000 liters of seed instead of five like I did before. Now, I was actually going to get this guy going here because he's got a lot of work ahead of him. He's going to, he's got to seed this field. <laughs> so we're going to get him going in here. And I think by the looks of the corn planter here, I think we're going to do two outside rounds is I think and I have no idea where to start him or anything so I think I'm just gonna go over here and park over here okay we gotta really adjust that sound level just let me get him on the field here in a nice position ah uh, you don't really have to do this you can just about do this from anywhere but I always like putting the tractor kinda where I want him to start Okay, we'll turn our motor off here for a minute. Okay, we've got to change this. Hang on here. Where are the... Still too loud. Is that better? That's better. Okay. All right. Jeez, I didn't even do a sound check this one either. Oh, well. Hopefully this works. Um, okay, we're going to come in here, and since I'm going to use course play, <laughs> I like it, uh, we'll come in here, and we'll create a job, and when you go up here, you go to course play, field work, and then now, it registers our field here, as you can see, hopefully that isn't registered as a field. Okay, no, oh no, that's the icons. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so here's our field all nicely done. What? Oh, well, that's okay. It doesn't... Why is it registering this as a field? <laughs> it took everything. Mm. I don't like that idea. Mm. There is a way. Now, we're going to have to figure this out. Cancel. Okay, hold on here, because it says you can draw it on the mini-map. I wish it would to just pick the field, because you can see this is, this is the field here, not this. Or this is not this part. This is like the grass and stuff along the road. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Over there? You can see it up there. Yeah, no, not happening. Course management. Um. I do believe you can just do it on the mini-map, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you can't... I know, okay, we can't do it in there. It has to be in here, somewhere. Okay, we don't need that. I may have to look it up, actually. actually look it up well we're gonna we're we'll save this here a quick sec okay we're gonna do this different uh, we're just gonna get rid of the corn planter here for one second and we're gonna do some precise driving because we don't like what we have here and we might as well get rid of this thing because be turning like all weird back wheels that come off the ground. Okay, so we're going to start right here. And we've got GPS, which is so awesome. And we're going to go in our course play menu here. And I believe this is record. And, oh, it looks like we got to back up first stop that we'll try it here how's that look 
but where our conveyor's in the way. Okay, so we're going to start there, right at this corner. Close enough. And we're going to drive straight here. And we're going to come to this corner. Now here's the tricky part. Of course, play is not going to like my way I do things here. That is a lot of waypoints. Wow. Okay, and then we're going to go this way. I'm just going to try and rough drive it, because you don't have to be that specific. This edge, though, I'll be a little more specific. I have not done this in a long time. So we'll put our GPS back on here, because we're just going to use it for the field edge. And we're going to go all the way down to the end. Probably shouldn't go full speed, though. Ah, looks like it can handle it. Sometimes uh, GPS and real fast speed doesn't get, get along well. It'll start steering back and forth, back and forth, and then all of a sudden you'll be like a steak. Sometimes. All right, we're going to go down this way now. And we'll use GPS down this edge because it's pretty far. All right, we're going to go down this side. Oh, we got some uh, grass in our field. I should have took the plow to this edge. I didn't fix it properly when I when I did it. It's only one tile, though, so... Alright, let's go around the corner here. Actually, that draws a pretty darn good corner, you know. Just doing it that way. Oh, no way! I am not wanting to go that way. Yes, there we go. We want to go that way. Hopefully, we got the edge of the field there. It's gonna be close. All right, we're going to go all this way down to the center. We're almost there. It's just the corners and stuff here take a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I think I'm just going to turn this one. It is by the shed, so we got to be careful. And try to do the edges as straight as you as you can. Just the simple fact of ups and downs and stuff, if it even... Ooh, we're going to go out a little from here. I may actually paint that concrete. Uh, spend a few dollars in landscape. Just a little extra. Ooh. I don't really have... I've never done this with this course play yet, so we'll see how this turns out later. If I could drive straight... <laughs> There we go. And one second last corner here. And I think since we have a conveyor, like right on the edge of the field here, we're just going to drive with our tires on the edge instead. And last, last corner, whoops. There we go. Custom field, yes. Okay. Now hopefully this works. I have no clue what I just did. I know you could load it and then you would use it as... Uh, as a custom field. Yeah, see, here's our little ring around. All right. Okay, we're not on a field. But I don't think that matters. There. 
Okay, see, now it changed. Okay, no. Um, no, that's not the one. I wonder where that course went. <laughs> Grr. Why is this not working? I don't like how it does that. That's not what I want. Ah, here we go. Prefer custom field is if there is also a real... That's better. See, should, we should be we should be reading things. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. Let's find out here. Field twenty one and fields. Well, where is that one? You telling me I have to go in the help menu? Okay, there we go. That's why I had to just switch that and then click on the field. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, which way do we want to go? Up and down. Manual. Ah, uh, north and south. Or east and yeah, north and south. Be smart. And two headlands, I think, would be the very smart thing to do. <laughs> and clockwise. Counterclockwise, yep. All right. What did it come up with? Ooh, it's thinking a long time here. Oof. Course play always does that. It thinks, because it's got to generate the whole thing somehow. All right, look at this. Here we go. Cool. All right. And you don't have to start it from in the menu, like in here, where you hit start job and all that. It is now actually loaded up here see there's this button and this button too but anyhow okay let's hit start here and see where this guy gets his butt going to oh no 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 first waypoint not nearest and I see he's starting just ahead of us here so might as well just move him there And we are on corn. Yep. So we're going to plant some corn here. Right on. Oh, we're supposed to customize our tractor first, but that's okay. It looks like he's doing good. We'll see how he does the outside round here. This is, this is going to be the hardest part for, for him, anyhow. All right. So we've done our combining already and all that stuff and our bailing and all that. So basically all we're doing here is that. So we're going to just leave him alone, all by his little lonesome, to do his thing. And we're going to see what we come up with. So we only have $22,000 left, which is not good. And we have a very big loan. Wow, I got too far away from the combine. There we go. Uh, we have a really fair size loan. 350,000. <laughs> 
but I did buy, uh, where is it here? $410,000 worth of new vehicles. But I did sell one thing. I did a little boo-boo when I was buying the mowers. I couldn't make my mind up if I wanted to spend that much money and buy these two, which I did eventually. I bought this one first, and that was way too slow. <laughs> so then I bought these two and sold this one. So I was out a little bit of money because you don't get as much back, I think, when you sell a piece of equipment. So anyhow, we're going to go for a little walk here. And we're going to check some stuff out because we did quite a bit in our map now. Uh, we put a lot of stuff in here. So now we have our uh, sell point here <laughs> that I named We Buy It. Bas basically, they buy everything. There's not very much that they don't. Uh, we have put a railroad silo in here. And actually, this one's just railroad only. This one's kind of sneaky. You can't go down there with a tractor and wagon and put anything in there. It's just railroad only. But we also do have another one here, which is both. And same here again, which is both. And this is on the same rail line as this one and this one. Because I have two two trains in here. You can see them both going right through the center here. And then we have on this rail, we have one here and one here on this rail. So we'll go to the center one here. So you can load your uh, vehicle here. And this is just the very center of the map here you can see uh, we put a second one in here we just threw this in I, I know the sign says it's from the one map but that's okay for now it's gonna say that and, and, and I don't mind it's in-game stuff I just took all in-game stuff out of here there's a few things in here that are like really old like that old rusty bridge and some of the other bridges and stuff in here and the rail lines the rail lines are from like 15 and, and i still do got to fix this you can see this little trigger pad here for the train is slightly off so we got to move it over like a couple inches but yeah so we can uh i think you can dump on this train and i can't remember if this is Oh, oh, maybe this is on this rail. Uh-oh. Well, that's... Hmm. That's not good. I actually thought this was on this rail. Here. <laughs> but I think it's on this rail. This thing. And that's not good, because so is this one. Now we got to do some investigating. I'm not going to do it in this save game, though. Because otherwise, I would have put this building over here where it was supposed to be that's what it was going to go right here <laughs> is this building and then it would have been on this rail not this one because it's now on here so i have two on the same rail that's not good now well, it's a good thing we're checking this out and we have also we might as well go visit this one now that we're over here so we did up this one here as well we put some trees around the, the place here um i did fix the traffic spline coming in and out they just come in and turn around go back out just like that and we have our bio uh, biomass heating plant here that uh is in game and then of course here's our railroad only silo And it's on the train track. It's it, it it works. It's only for the train. And it's got some storage. Um, I don't know if it even registers here, does it? No. Okay. And I think you guys may have seen this too as well. We have our other cell point here. There's one here. Um, we got some pretty sneaky cars. <laughs> in here they actually come right along this edge so i might have to actually fix that because depending if my our tractors take that 
then we might have to fix that. And I don't know why these file these little icons here are so small. But this is the wood cell point right here. If you want to sell wood, you just throw it up here and hit the button and inside the marker and it sells it. This will be for grain here and stuff. And I know from before, wood chips was back there because that's where we were selling them. Yes, so that's this place. Oh, here comes a car. Let's watch where he goes. So he's going to come around here. Oh, we may not get there in time. He's driving pretty damn fast. Oof, that's going to be tight for a tractor coming throughout here. I may have to move that over a couple inches. Half of vehicle width. All right, so next place. Our shop, I don't think, is really uh, anything really changed here. Oh, delivery guy just dropped something off. I guess we got our parked cars here. I got a few parked cars by the shop here. That's new. That comes with the traffic system. Once you get the traffic system working, you can put your parked cars in. You got some cars that just parked wherever. So far, traffic looks like, looks like it's doing real good. Well, you're going to check out there, eh? Should put like a, a fake tractor right here and a, another one over here or something for decoration. Well, actually not right here, old front. Like right there. Something. There's still more to be done in here. Mostly scenery now. Stuff that I could add in that won't matter to the save game. I think I've done all our roads. I did finally, I did plant grass right to the edge. I couldn't make my mind up what I wanted, so I did it that way. Some spots you have a little bit of green. And some spots it is actually right to the edge. Like here you can see the difference. Like how it looks there. That's what it looks like up close. And of course we have our south silo here. And we have some traffic coming in here too. They come right in. A couple parked cars. And they go around and out. Oh. Oh, right, yes, my splines actually cross. I had to fix that, but I didn't. And they actually go in, and they go around the back, and then they come around this way, and then they go back out again, or something. I, I can't remember how they go. I wonder why there's a car on that spline. Going that way. The other guy just came in and went, well, whatever. I guess I could look. We'll look here in a minute. We'll just switch back to the, to the Giants editor or whatever. And I do believe that is everything. Uh, we have, still have our wood cell point here, but it is just the trigger. So if you had wood on your train, just send it away. <laughs> send it down here, and all of a sudden your wood would just disappear because it's right on the tracks here. I haven't finished that part yet either. There's a, like the selling selling stuff I haven't done. So i got to fix a railroad in the middle, I see. And then we have to fix a few other things. Not too much. It's it's coming. So What else did we do? Our biogas plant doesn't show up on the map, though, I see, for some reason. Unless we have to buy it. You may have to buy this to get the biogas plant first. Or go buy the biogas plant. I guess that's what you would have to do. Oh, got some traffic going by here. I have yet to see a car get stopped by the uh, railroad crossings. I wanted to see that. I know uh, the crossings do work. I know that much at least. Oh yeah, a couple parked cars back here as well. Well, we got to fix that too. These ones are floating. For some odd, strange reason. Both of these are... This is our sawmill. There's nothing here yet. No triggers, anything. I'm going to put them out here, so I think, like, maybe make a wood chip spot here for selling. And then, or here maybe. Maybe here in the middle would be smarter. And then a wood spot somewhere, too. Because our wood sell point is, like, right here. You can see it's just blue. It's right over there. 
Pardon me, sorry. Let's go check on our cedar operator. How's he doing? Oh, nice. Looks like he's just finished the second round. Um, yes. Where is he going? It's handy. You can see all the, the places he's driving. How full is he? 66%. And he's at 530, so that's 1,060. I'm judging by the, the waypoints right here. There's 1,200 waypoints in his course. So if he hits 600 and he's still over 50%, you know he's good. Roughly. He's going to start here. Okay. Oh, dude, you missed the spot. Look at the rocks in the field. Ooh. That's a lot of rocks. We're going to have to get the roller out later. Oh, well, we're going to let this guy go. keep going here. I do think we're up to caught up here, basically. I know we don't really have a lot of money, but it's not like we need it either. At the moment. Alright, so we're going to hang out in our John Deere here. Let's go back to Giant's Editor. So let's go check out this spline here. That one that was crooked, and we're going to move it. Oh, I see. It's just too close together here. I see how it works. Okay, so it comes in. Let's see. Left side, right side. There we go this way, and then we go all the way around, and then it's back again. So yeah, because it is like that, right? It starts here in the middle, comes down the hill, down this way. Round the buildings, round back, round here. And then it goes all the way down there. Does just a circle in the yard and comes back out. That's all it does. It's one spline. It's not two. So there's no intersection or nothing down at the far end down there. I was going to, but I didn't. Okay, so we got to fix this. This is a real easy fix. Uh, we have our visibility on the spline already, so that's nice. You just click here. Close to the little blue dot, and that's where you can actually... Like, move it, just move over. Left and right, oops, sorry. Left and right on the arrow keys will move them as well. So we're just going to widen this out a bit. This was just a quick installation of traffic spline here. Come on. Give me that one. There we go. Oh, that's an ugly corner. And it's pretty easy. You just, you just move them around. But you have to make sure they're on the ground. They can't be, like, really floating a lot or anything. There we go. There. It's kind of... It takes a little bit of artwork to get it right. Um, these are all too close together. I didn't really look, I guess, when I built it. Whoops. But this is the easy... Well, not really easier part, but this is kind of easy part of doing it. Of course, I didn't really explain to you how to move in here either. That's the hardest. That's even more interesting is learning the mouse buttons and, the, and so on. For navigating in here. Now we do have a lot of testing to do actually at the moment and I might start that here but I don't want to do it in this save game. Whoops. I want to test like hired guys right? Go over here and sell something. Go here and sell something. But I can't do that yet. 
I tested a little bit of it, like drive to the shop, you know, and drive back home to the yard and stuff, and it works perfect. But one thing, if you would have paid attention, I don't think, well, no, I guess it didn't. No, it wouldn't have. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Forget I said that. Because I never showed you yet. This is an ugly corner. It's better. But totally not following the rules of the road. Okay, cool. So you see how there's way more red dots up and over the hills, and as opposed to not. Like down here, there's like one, two, three, <laughs> four, or five. There's well, the dark red ones are the pedestrian spline. There's people that walk up and down here. And that's what this little spline is here. They come and walk in, walk back out again. But in the hills here, because you have to, when it goes uphill and downhill, you have to put points down so it stays like that, because you can't have it where. Let's see here. I'll pick that blue one. You couldn't do that. How the spot goes up like that, uh, you can have floating cars. Thankfully, there's an undo button. Like over here, too. We actually never checked out this yard yet. We have another railroad silo here. So I have three <laughs> on that one there. Oh, that's no good. So the cars just come in here, turn around, go back out. And same with the people. They come in, and they walk around the outside edge here, and then back out again. Now, over here, I think I already mentioned this, actually, this little spline, these two, but I never told you what they were for, showed you. So down here, it says AI. And that's, you have to have this in this order, okay? This first part doesn't matter. I mean, there's nothing here. This is a user attributes, which means, like, I don't know, a Boolean is a check mark, I think. Integer, I have no idea. Float is, like, a number. String, I have no idea, and script callback is the ones that like do things like here. Uh, not those splines. We'll pick this one. Um, here, so these are like user attributes, right? And but the script callback is what actually tells stuff to get done would be here, and so it's got to be named traffic system, and it has to have this here traffic system dot on create and that's just when the game's running that's uh the whatever script in the game that runs the traffic system says hey car drive here car drive there pedestrian you know like this or tractor go here when you tell it to uh well i guess no traffic system yeah and then uh actually yeah i guess when you tell your tra tractor to drive somewhere it would still be in the traffic system it probably would jump into here but your tractor also, because it's AI here, and it says AI system on create AI road spline, um, you put them in here. Now, no traffic's going to drive down this spline, but, oops, oh, I don't want that tree. No traffic is going to drive down this spline, and it only goes from here and over to here. And back again, there's two of them. Accidentally clicked on the water plane, sorry. This one, which is starts here, ends there, and this one, which starts here and ends here. So you got both directions, but they're just joined here at the end, like a loop. And that's just so your tractor from over here can say, hey, I need to go this way. And the other one coming up goes this way. And then it can just start and end here on each one. So that's kind of cool. And over here, they're just tied in to each side of our traffic system here on this end. Uh, these two splines, this one and this one, of course, for this road. One tied in here and one tied in there. They're just tied in on a point. There's no end to here. Like if you were to pick that one, end is over here, you see, and start is actually way over there. So the spline goes just nonstop all the way between the two. So I guess the AI splines are just like sidetracks. Like if, say, you wanted, just for an example, say this was a baby small bridge and your big giant equipment can't get across it, which actually I have to do. <laughs> I'm going to have to make an AI spline here somewhere to get across here somehow for my tractors. 
and what you'll have to do is like I, I, I don't know I, I saw how giants did it and they basically just had like a second little trail right here that went around and around and like this in a couple spots both directions of course from here to here and here to here I believe or something like that but the way I'm gonna have to do it is I have to do it right here this is my little spot you can actually cross this water right here but this is also straight up and this is also straight up it's very very steep like I went up here with a tractor and I didn't make it going straight up <laughs> it just didn't do it it just wouldn't pull it so I'm gonna have to figure that one out too I bet you they'll either have to go down here and around or this way and I probably just won't send big equipment that way because you can also get them to cross here right or here but there is also one of those bridges right here as well so you can't do that either so you would actually have to cross over here mm -hmm. it's a fun map yes uh now actually we got to check here oh i can't even i can't even check about this because it's not even in here the trigger for the train if you do if you know what i mean that little thing how I said it was on this rail. Look, it's not even here. We'll save our C file saved. Hopefully we're still recording. I would have to go like this. Maps. Train system. And now is it one or two? Oh no, actually, no, sorry, my bad making me think this one and I would import that Bing and it showed up it still doesn't actually show you that thing on the ground I'll delete this after I just brought it in to show you guys now it doesn't show you anything you don't see nothing here right unless I'm in the wrong one Unless it's down at the origin here. All right, yes, yes. See, this is where it gets interesting. This is why it's called a placeable, and this is how your game actually loads it. Go in here. My map. XML. Placeables. You probably won't see this one. You might. I don't know if you will. Let's run this over to the side. Is that better? Can you see it now? <laughs> um, trains are low. I believe it was the first one, wasn't it? Train silo, train silos. Okay, so control, shift, C. Oh, okay, never mind. Ugh. I don't know why that doesn't work. Well, whatever. Unless you just go like this. We'll take our rotations here, right? Control C for copy. This is one thing about Giants Editor you can actually do. And so we click on here. And Control Shift V. Aha! There it is. And see this? Look, it pasted in all three for us. Uh, but we do have to check rotation. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Did I pick the wrong one? Oh, I did it wrong, of course. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay. That's better. Sorry, I was on the wrong group. I was actually down here on whatever. You have to be on the uh, very first one, which is what it loaded in. The whole thing, entire thing, all together. There we go. Yes, yeah, see? I told you it's on this rail. Now, if I wanted to fix this, which is actually fairly, very easily fixed, is you go like this. Um, actually, we can't do that piece because if we were to move 
that everything would move which would be our little trigger here for the truck the loading trigger and everything so we got to go and you open up the plus sign here and we find our now we have a uh, loading station train which is this piece and the unload station in the train which is the trigger now I think uh, you probably would be better off to grab the whole thing then it's oops then it's everything included and the roadside is everything included I think that's actually how I did it if there's any translations here that's how I did it yes so then what we'll do is we'll just move it over here like that then that's pretty simple now all you got to do is you got to click back on the whole th main thing and this is to save it to save your changes for in your map it's actually really easy when you move something but you have to go file uh, I just well, it might have files. I go export selection with files. And then we have to find exactly what we brought in here. So then you just go users, user, desktop, Hubbard map, placeables, hub silo. And it took, because that's the last thing that was loaded, which is at the very bottom here. And we just have to find it, click on it. Yes, it already exists. Yes, we want to replace it. Uh, parent directory structure. No, as far as what I've been doing. Has always been no and game relative paths yes now it's just triggers and stuff so it should everything should be from the game now technically it should be saved now all you would have to do is close giants editor here actually first of all you go in here and click on this and delete it and get it out of the way because you don't want it in here you don't want to load it twice eh? and plus I don't think the game actually can load triggers from in the map anymore it loads them via xml file it's a really complicated way of doing stuff well not doing stuff but like to figure out it's kind of complicated to figure it all out you know and then like we would have our other train system here we got to do our train crossing right we have a, a train crossing i gotta add here right there and i actually gotta i'm i don't know what i'm gonna do in the center here i don't know if i can add a crossing for both rails um, and only one crossing, if you know what I mean. I, I don't think that's possible because each of my train systems is separate. One is one and one is the other. So it's not like I can uh, uh, separate them or uh, join them together, I guess you could say. So we're going to make sure we uh, get rid of our visibility on here again so they don't show up in game. And I think we're actually done. Wasn't there something else I had to fix? Let me think. I think that's it. And this is, yeah, that's our whole map here. Um, no, because I moved that over, so we're good. I did our landscaping over there. I fixed our one spline. Should be good. That's close enough. So we just X out of here. Yes, make sure we save our changes. Did a whole bunch. And it will save and exit. Now in here we didn't do anything, so we'll just close this. And we're back in our thing here. And there we are back in the game. And he's still going here. Oh, he's all getting close to done. He's only got a little bit left. And I see he did uh, uh, not seed that one spot there, which is perfect actually. So we'll just come down here, go to our construction landscaping painting now I believe it's asphalt in Giants editor it's of course I'm pushing Giants editor buttons already <laughs> I keep trying to navigate in here like in the editor it's it's yeah so middle mouse button will let you do this and sorry I didn't explain Giants editor but it's already closed um, right mouse button doesn't do anything left mouse button was obviously paint so we're just gonna paint out to here just like that and we're just gonna get rid of that there now our custom field or whatever he will 
he's going to cut the corner, obviously, you can see. And then at least we got some cement in here now. And I should have actually fixed... Where's that other spot? There was another spot somewhere. I was going to fix these down here and paint grass all the way along, but that's actually how I messed up here. As I was taking a real small brush because you can't you can't paint with a big brush here. See, land is not owned by you. So if you make your brush size bigger, well, I already painted the grass here because you can see. But I couldn't paint over here. Yeah, I couldn't make my brush bigger, and I made a little boo-boos when I was painting along this edge. Looks like our cedar guy did pretty good. He only missed the one spot, so it's not bad. See, he's almost done. Course play, of course, will miss some things, you know, like some corners... And there's the odd bits. The, the hired guy is actually a little bit better, but course play is almost more realistic than than not depending. Like, you can change your settings and stuff too, right? Like, if you go in course play. And you just make a job for the heck of it. down here. Um, you can make your field smaller so you can have a little bit of edge room as well. If you got something really close to the edge that they keep hitting, that's what this one's for. Um, where is it here? Oops. I, I must be blind. Hmm. Unless... So we gotta go in here. Show course, open HUD. Empty one over. There's a spot where you can adjust it. Maybe it's this one, global. Well, it's in there somewhere. I don't remember where, but you can adjust your headland overlap. Maybe that's for combines only? I think that's where I saw it was in the combine. What? Hmm. I'm blind. I'm totally blind. Hmm. Absolutely. Oh, right, we can't get out of the combine. There, he's all done. Now, if you'd wanted to, you could 
to start up your cedar. We have a, 11 bushels of seed left, I see. And we can just run around the field and seed these little corners here. So we might as well go ahead and do that. We're just going to seed this. I'm not going to seed the square corners, but I will seed this. Little spot there. Little spot there. Then we got to get a roller out, too, going here right away. Actually, he did really good. Even miss anything there? Almost don't think so. Over here somewhere though. Gotta see it before we get there. That corner, yep. Probably this corner too. And then that should be it. Then we gotta roll our field. Because we did plow it and bring up a lot of rocks. Did I just miss that? Like. Hmm. There we go. be able to get at the hitch too just in case we need it now let's go get our little roller here so if uh, we're just gonna cancel this course because we could just regenerate it again later you can save it if you want we'll unhook our little uh, seed box Hook up to our weight. And let's go get the roller. We'll get the roller started rolling here, and then that's going to be about it, really. Uh, we might do a little uh, one or two small drive here tests. We'll see. Let's go get our roller. totally going to use course play for this one just we're so close to the edge of everything a uh, hired man would have a heck of a hard time in here course play kind of is a little more user friendly for that kind of kind of depends how you use it it still could be a pain Helper menu will create a job. Field work. I think we still have everything still registered. Well, not really. There's some sort of picture there for some reason. Money and good. Uh, our field is there. Well, why not? Field, well, yeah, we have that already picked up. Open, close, course generator. We'll get them to do the exact same thing. that it's got to be 12 meters yeah hopefully it changed it we'll generate it two two headlands uh, is what I'm doing definitely first waypoint and it looks like he's gonna start right over here I just hope that uh, it automatically changed the working width from the cedar to the roller I don't think that's a 12 meter cedar. Uh uh. I think it's like six or something. Oh, yeah, perfect. Alright, here he goes. 
Yeah, I'm glad I took the corners like I did. Perfect. Now he'll do two outside rounds and then go up and down. And uh, the reason I do two outside rounds is just so that they don't uh, um, they don't hit anything, right? And they can turn freely and all that, and they got lots of room. Dude, he totally missed like a mile around that corner. Oh, sorry. Hey. You missed the spot, ma'am. Yes, you. You missed the spot. Are you even watching what you're doing? The roller is behind you, you know. <laughs> okay. Is there a roller going around? I think we're all done here. I know our bales aren't ready to go yet, that's for sure. Seven percent. Oh no, definitely not ready to go. And we are seeding so we can't speed up time. I believe that's everything. Yep. So we are gonna go look around here though. Let's go have a look. Just because we can do this. So in the map here, we'll just go once around. Uh, not a lot of changes. You saw most of them already, but at least I'll just fly around it once, and then we'll then we'll end the video here. So here's our place, and you can see some of our traffic nicely going down. Nothing's changed here. It's still just a hill full of trees. Uh, I'm probably going to put an AI spline through here that follows it around and comes down here, and then it actually comes out right here. Down in the corner here. There's our train. You can see a vehicle going there. And we made this yard look nice. We do have a little bit of traffic that comes in here and turns around, goes out. And same on that one there. Uh, I don't know if anybody actually goes in there or not. Oh, he went in there, yeah. You can see the car there. I'm probably going to change most of that. And one parked car there. Somebody decided to park over there. They must be sleeping in the uh, shade. And then, of course, our road down here and around. We got some nice, just basic scenery up top here and stuff. Kind of looks cool. The biogas plant, which we would actually have to buy to have it show up on the map. And another big forest here. And over here by the shop, there's, a, there's actually three of them. By the shop here. One, two three uh, we didn't buy didn't buy this one this time I just basically took a loan out and bought some stuff so it was actually fairly easy to get started in here uh, a lot of the other stuff though is gonna be a little more difficult some of these fields are really really big like this one's 50 acres which still is small that's like a small regular size field here is 160. <laughs> so we got our field here. Now, how big is this one? Yeah, see, it, it doesn't recalculate um, when you work stuff up. Uh, I do believe that would be close enough. Well, let's go have a look at the far end of the map. So we just have field 18 here. Uh, it's all grass all the way around, nothing around it. Our silos are there. Nice young trees growing here and here that somebody just planted. And the older ones are already all over there. Of course, our uh, storage spot for just the train and the silo, or the biomass heating plant for wood chips and stuff. I think you put cell bales there too, as well. Uh, bales of poplar, maybe? I'll have to check it out. And then, that's really... Should be everything. This flight thing is just... <sighs> it's the Easy Development Controls mod. It's uh, pretty cool, actually. We 
We are totally going to hit the ground. Bam. So now once I uh, exit my game here, uh, I'll re redo my mod, repack it up or whatever, and then when I load in next time, this should be over here. And that'll solve our problem. Then we'll have a one silo here and one in the bottom corner. Uh, like this, it'll be. So one railroad is here. And one railroad is here. And actually, if you go into lands, it's a little tricky. But there is, actually, you can buy... You have to buy this little piece of land here. All the way along the train track and actually down here, which I haven't fixed yet. I'm going to exclude that little bit of blue here. Because that used to be... It was to, for the train. I had it. And same in here. I had it as well. So in here. But this side doesn't have it. This side's just whatever. It's not like that. But the fields and the grass around them are separate except for 25 here and of course at home obviously but like every other field 18 all these ones the oh except for four i guess four isn't like that and two and this one but most of them are just the field some spots like here i included the split between and probably on this one as well it's not like you buy big chunks at a time. There is a few, I guess. There's like this one. This one. Around the shop and stuff is here. You'd have to buy this bush with this included. Our small little one. Then that one, of course, and that one. So one, two. There was another one here somewhere. I guess there was one there, one there, and one there. And then that one, of course, is by itself. This is by itself. Same with this little piece of land down here and here like each one of these is separate as well I just decided to do it that way because this is such a big piece of grass I figured you buying the field and getting the grass around it was a little bit much so that's why it's separate same here any of these spots really and that is why this one is so expensive because it's huge the hill here too is pretty expensive, but there is a lot of trees on that hill. And you can make a pretty nice size field actually once you get this, this, and yeah, it gets big. <laughs> and when you take that hill off completely and clean it all up and then make it into a field, it takes a bit, but it's it gets really big. It's bigger than number two over here, which is this one. Number two is only 650,000. What? What? Hold it a minute. Why is this one 1.1 million and this one 6 million? And this one's 1 1.2. This one should be like 1.5 or something because it's actually bigger. Hmm. 53 acres. 50 and 49. And this one's 30. I'm going to have to look into that, why it's only worth 650 And this one's ha half, it is double that. Same with this one, it's double the price of this one, but yet this field's bigger. That's 300000 What? I really got to look into this. $312,000 for 25 acres? Hmm. What's this one worth? 300000 12 acres. 40 acres for 135 yeah I, I must have adjusted the prices i'm gonna have to look into that this, this is why we go in and we test things or i just got ran over by a train i feel like uh winston and ghostbusters <laughs> or ghostbusters 2 anyhow all right let's save our game here 
and we will quit our game. And we'll exit as well. And then we go into our map right here. So this is what I've been playing in. Here's our mo a map. Now it's extracted. It's not in a zip form. Here's our mods folder. Everything's actually going to be in a zip form, a zip archive, and it makes it smaller. Like this one's only 449 megabytes. And this thing is 725. So when you zip it up, it squeezes it and squishes it and makes it into a smaller package that the game can use. Because the game actually can't. If you were to take this folder and throw it in there, it would work. But only half of it. Some stuff wouldn't work because it's not zipped up. So then of course we have to come into here since we made some changes. Select everything. Add it to an archive of zip. And hit OK and it will do it for us. And here comes our map all nicely zipped up. I still have to clean up my thing because it's pretty darn big. Um, however many megabytes it is. is too big. And I got junk in here I don't need. There, it's all done. So we select it, drag it over, and replace. Um, what I would suggest is not to do that. Take the one from here, pull it on your desktop, then take the zipped up one and put it in, test it, make sure everything works, and then you can delete this one. Just in case you messed something up, keep a backup. It is heck of important. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that uh, I wish I had done that. So is it back up on top again? Yeah, cool. So that's everything. So now that it's zipped back up, we could actually start our Farming Sim 22 here again. And go back in there and double check. Make sure it actually is moved. Then that won't take very long here. We'll just check quickly. We'll load in quick here. Almost there. Of course, our guy's seating. I'm not going to do any of that, uh, check any of that out. I'll just quickly swap over and then end the game. I'll come back in after and uh, start up our hired guy rolling again. He should still be on the same course. All right. There he is over there. So we'll just quickly go check here. Oops, wrong one. And, uh-oh. What did I do? See? See? I broke the game. Oh! Well, I did something that it didn't like. Oh, that's not good. I might have just seen things here. So, hub silo. See, this is why we, you think, oh yeah, just we'll just quickly move that over. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta check why. So you go in your mods folder. I have a shortcut to it. Makes it really easy to check what's wrong with your game. Log. Way down here at the bottom. And actually, I don't know if you can see that one. I'll just go in here. And Okay, so this is our log file. Tells us everything about the game. Anything that's in, going on in it here, it tells you everything. And if there's anything wrong, it will tell us. It'll, it will say error. Oh, 
crow has actually got its own thing. <laughs> Info transform group. Oh yeah, that's normal. Uh, this line, even on the in-game ones, you'll have this for some reason. So that's not a very good, th that's a good thing, I wouldn't think. Wow. Oh. No. Soybeans. Oh, come on. Don't tell me there's no errors. I passed it. No. Yeah, right here is where we quit our game. Go back up again. Oops, it loaded it. Right here, look. So I made a boo-boo somewhere. So whatever I saved over, oh god, this is why it's fun modding. So there was this one, and that was the, that's where I got it from though, I already checked. It doesn't give me an error, which makes, makes me wonder. I'm not going to save it here, but I'm just going to go look at it. And of course, it, we have to find it. So we got to navigate around here till we actually see it. There it is. Okay, so what did I do different that... Oh, right, yes, okay. Now I remember, so we go in here. Remember that we moved it, and then, yes, it's all explained here. So zero, ha, I figured it out, zero and zero. You have to reset this back to zero, 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 because that's where it was when we first loaded it into my map. When I loaded it in my map, I had to move it to, remember, we copy and pasted the numbers in here. I was forgot to go back to zero, 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 and then save it. So now I just load it in here, put this all at zeros. We can save it. See? Squish it back up again. Which takes a few seconds. I'm sure you guys really want to see all of this, but sorry. This is how it's done. This is how I do it, anyhow. Here we go. And we're just going to replace it. Because I know what it's... I knew that was... That's what's, what was wrong. It was probably... If I would have looked a little better at the map itself, it would have been, like, way over here or way over here. It would have been translated somewhere else. It wouldn't have been where we wanted it. But it would have been on the map somewhere. It just wasn't where we wanted it. It would have been somewhere else because of those numbers. It would have been way up in the air, 124.996 meters. And then it would have been whichever off to the side, 41 and a half meters and up or something. What was the up one again? Six something, five something? Can't remember. Wherever it was translated to. I'm going to have to replace this picture as well. I guess see navigation mesh here <laughs> and different building this is the hub the center hub it's actually a barn the, i had the old barn there and stuff all right let's check is it now there actually we'll go to this the train side one ha much better see there we go now it's here 
And we still have to... It is off a little. But there, yes, now it's here. Mistake fixed. Perfect. Oh, somebody hit that. Ooh. Oh, it saved the jump multiplier. I never turned it back on. Come over here, car. Oh, and then he goes faster. Oh, see, I changed all that too. Hey, the speed limit. You can pick the speed limit on every single spline in here, including all the ones in the crossroads. So you can tailor your traffic to your map however you want. Oh, I got to get rid of some of this. Well, that reminds me, I got a patch of grass over there I got to get rid of. All right, well, seems to be everything's working again. So, right on. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.